What's up, y'all? Um, it's your boy Carcino. Um, what's going on today? <clears throat> Nothing but counting money today. So today is counting money day. But um, the guy uh, Mario, Joe B, and you know GTO Ness from the Boxing Voice. They interview Brandon Rios. Uh, like right after the, my boys did it on the boxing lab but I like you know the way Ness and them handle it so I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all hear a sample of what went down so therefore if you guys want to go ahead and check it out check it out but here's Brandon Rios on the boxing board A few days out before his big fight, fight of the year type of fight with Mike Mahavarado. Brandon, welcome to the Boxing Boys Show. Uh, I'm here with my co-host Mario Munguia and Nesta Gibbs. What's up, guys? Uh, thanks for having me. Hello. All right, Brandon, how you doing, man? And uh, uh, we're glad that you took the time out to you know do this interview. We know that you're 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 coming up to a big big fight. I'm going to jump into it. I don't have many questions. Uh, everything's basically been reiterated around. I mean, you were on the conference call today, uh, and you were on the boxing with our brothers over there uh, Tuesday. But uh, coming into this big fight, not only is it a big fight in terms of magnitude, two top dogs going in, two all-action fighters, but... You also both have something to prove in this fight. Do you look at it that way, or do you look at this as just another fight? We both want to prove something. We're both ready for the next level, guys. So that's why it's a it's a great match because he wants to prove that he's ready for the big dogs. I want to prove that I'm ready for the big dogs. So. It's going to be one hell of a fight because uh, I know he don't want to lose his old. I don't want to lose my own. So it's a good fight. Now, we had Mike Carverado on the show a couple of weeks back, and um, he seems extremely confident. So confident that he's not at all worried about the weight. He doesn't care if you come in or at weight or not. He says this fight's going to go on, whether you make. Uh, you know the, the the contract that wait or not he well, he just wants this fight is that and I know you're a fighter so uh, using this word is not to offend you but is that something that promotes a bit of a fear that a man doesn't care uh, about anything he just wants to get in that ring with you no matter you know what shape you come in you know what uh, I don't really care the way he, he brings the table. He goes the same way. He's going to stop me in seven rounds. And then he's going to bully me around. He's a bigger guy. I never faced a guy like him. But, you know, honestly, he never faced a guy like me. Uh, my resume, I think I got a better resume than he does. So, you know, that doesn't fit, that doesn't fit me at all. That actually makes me more excited. Excited for this fight because... I hope he does what he says he does. I hope he comes out and, uh, and says that uh, he don't care how I feel. I hope he comes out and says that he's going to knock me out. I hope he does. I hope he does what he says. Because, you know, what? I do what I say and I'm going out to do it. All the money I got left. Do what I have to do to win. Might as well order pizza and get some beer. My that's the I'm determined to get a knockout, so I'm going for a knockout. I'm going for the home run. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, like he's been on this show, and, and he's mentioned that this is the Super Bowl of boxing. Do you look at it that way, that towards the end of the year, while the year is winding down, even though we have Marquez Pacquiao out there and Cotto Trout, uh, we're all tired of Marquez and Pacquiao right now. It's the fourth fight. Cotto Trout is an interesting fight, but Trout is an unknown where you and Mike Alvarado are just two all-action fights. Uh, do you feel 
like the way he feels that this is the Super Bowl of boxing? Yeah, because I'm the one that gave names to this, the Super Bowl of boxing. At the press conference, the first press conference they have, I went up to the podium and I was like, man, this is like the Super Bowl of boxing. So you know what, I'm the one that gave it the name because